And welcome back to the Kill of Darkness XD walkthrough. And for those of you who are wondering why this one starts off in the shop instead of in the Pokemon Center, there's no reason I just walked from the shop from the Pokemon Center without recording. So yeah, I'm in the shop now. I always found that lock that they have there kind of interesting. Huh, so the news aren't already up there reporting on the professor's kidnapping. Does the news report on the professor's kidnapping in this game or do you resolve that before you go to the news station? I I generally forgot. Oh well, I guess I'll find out as I keep playing. Back home to deliver the parts and get rid of this girl attached to my hip. Oh, Professor Crane. Why is it every time I hear your name I think of the Scarecrow? Yes, I'm guessing Mom is still in that room where she was. To see her priorities are straight, her kids were endangered, but uh, who cares later? How about that machine part? <laughs> It'll fail the world and everything, but still. Wait, is it fail the world? I didn't really elaborate on that. I, mean, I know this is dangerous stuff going on for the horror region, but I don't know if it affects the if anything going on here affects the entire world, just this one region. Which, according to more so according to most according to most sources but I can't speak right at all it's completely in the is in the boonies of the Pokemon world explaining why there are no more Pokemon <laughs> Gate Village it took fucking forever to get to this place in the first game I mean you had shot Pokemon along with you before them but you can't purify them until way late in the game I wanna say I'm like way late, it was like the midpoint. And if you were like when you were continually using one shadow Pokemon because type advantages or whatever, it was going to evolve by the time you got there. But here it's like, you know, you've decided to just let you have this purifying Pokemon early on in the game. I found one Pokeball. I think that's nothing to sleep in the treasure chest. Okay, there's one thing I really like about this town, and that's that most of the people that you talk to will challenge you to battles. This is like a leveling up dream. Just having random trainers challenge you to battle, but now you're challenging them. So I perfected the so enough so that I learned the third move. For those of you who don't know what that's all about, because if you never played the game, or this is your first watching of a let's play of the game. Uh, well, uh, the Pokemon that you have only know their shadow moves when you catch them, you get the shadow Pokemon and all. But if you get them to trust you and get past you or whatever, they will open up their hearts and learn, or I guess, 
relearn unless you know that they have certain moves. I mean, the first game was pretty pivotal that you open up your Pokemon Star because before then, only thing they knew was Shadow Rush, which was a double edge move. Basically, meaning it would cause them injury as well. So you wouldn't really be relying on your Shadow Pokemon attacks. On this game, most of the Shadow Pokemon attacks are quite better than the other Pokemon attacks. But you gotta purify them anyway, you know, story and feels good for Andrew because if you don't, they'll always be like level 11 or level 20 something. So this one was fun old man a trainer class. I mean how would you get that? Could there be a fun kid and then you become an old man and now you're just fun old man. Uh sorry, just there's not a lot of hidden passageways. This leads to uh, another character or items. I like it right here. Here's a hidden passageway which if I remember right, in the first game was to an XP share, but in this one leads to potions. I guess it's too early on for an XP share anyway. Those who don't know an XP share is basically it's a device that you attach to a Pokemon that lets them gain XP without being in battle. Uh, I don't think you can attach it to a Shadow Pokemon. If a Pokemon is in battle with it attached, they get double the XP. So basically, it's a level helper. It makes leveling up easier for British people. For those that are wondering what the deal is with this town, it's basically this region is equivalent to an old folks home in the town. Only all the villagers are retired Pokemon trainers. So one of the to our older brother, the Pokemon is so weak. Here's a tip for chick. If you want to beat your brother in the Pokemon battle, level them up. And here's another reason why I kind of want to steal your brother's Pokemon. Oh, reverse mode. Oh, yeah, I'll get back into that later. But, reverse mode in this game is kind of a bitch. In the last game, that mode that they went into would just cause them a power up boost, but they wouldn't listen to you. In this game, it causes some physical harm for some reason. I guess they give more emphasis on it, but it still seems like an odd gimmick to have. Alright, what I was saying earlier about killing your opponent's Pokemon, how that would be a fun gimmick for a game to add. I just mentioned Joey Crown with his rat attack, I don't think it's going to up in my third video, but uh, like right here. I would really love to have that Togepi. Just because I actually like Togepi. I know you get one later in the game, but still I would really like to have one now. Sometimes you get Besides, the only way to get Elecad, which is probably one of the better parts of the game to have, is to trade away that Togepi.
You look nothing like Nurse Joy in the end, but your hair is blue. Are you sure you're not Officer Ginny? I'm sorry, this is nothing to comment on, but I just want to make a joke that I think completely failed. So let's challenge the cowboy. You can call him Ryder, but I'm still calling him Cowboy. Or Monkey Face. Because, look at his face. Uh, it kind of reminds me of this one character. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. There's an admin called Seto no Hainame. I'm pretty sure it's butchered that name. But it basically means My Brides of Mermaid. It's just one character. It's called Sari, which is Japanese for Chimp. In English, they call him Shemp. His face looks exactly like that guy's only in better resolution. I mean, he has the same kind of hair and the sideburns and everything. And so I'm gonna start calling this guy Monkey Face. Okay, what do you have that bit poisoned in my first turn? To both Pokemon? I'm serious, what are the odds? Because that was fucking unlikely. You stomp on that ground. And down goes Tasku. But I really enjoy it's the defeated Pokemon animation. I kinda wish it was a triumphant Pokemon animation to go with it, but you yeah, know. Eevee is evolving. For those of you who don't know, back in the last video I gave, I got the position item for Eevee to turn to Umbreon. Because, in my experience, Umbreon are bulky, and I really want a bulky Pokemon to be my starter. I mean, my front runner for my team. Because they will take punishment like a champion. And it does help having, it helps having a dark type pretty early on. Just checking the Umbreon. Still jolly natured. Nah, that defense is looking pretty good for a level 12 Pokemon. Am I right, people? Poison effect in this game makes, it makes a bigger sense of the urgency of getting your Pokemon cured. Or in this case, the Pokemon Center. A yeah, screen flashing red like that is kind of disorienting. I want to know the Nintendo XC agreed to the flashing red screen thing. But considering that Porygon episode of the Gasoline Infamous. How would you pronounce her name? Blue? Blair? Nah. So is he gonna just bored old man? I'm just looking for stuff to do around here. I like how instantly he organized all this stuff. Next time we're gonna go with the trials. 
those of you who don't know what that means, basically it means like we're going to fight a whole bunch of trainers in a row to get to the stone that will be prepared for my shop Pokemon. And we're also playing for an hour, which is kind of impressive. Anyway, uh, we're just supposed to slowly buy here. Anyway, next time we'll start the trial, so see you next time.